What's going on, guys? J Hoyt back with you today. Today we got the NHL 18 beta. And so far, I wanted to give you guys my opinion on it. And so far, it is uh there's a lot of problems. Now, before I just go bashing the game, obviously this is not the full game. I know that there's not hockey ultimate team, there's not any of the offline game modes. There's only really the NHL 3's mode thing that looks interesting, but not... Okay. They have the NHL 3's mode, which I have not played yet, so I can't really give my comment on that much. But there's the NHL 3's mode, which looks interesting, so I'm going to play that. I'm going to try to play it for a video, if possible, and try to get my opinion out there. But I've mainly played EASHL, mainly because the NHL versus I have not found a game yet so i don't know if just no one's playing it or just what the case is but i have not found a single game while trying to play nhl versus now i was watching a couple of youtubers play online versus and it looks extremely slow so from what i've seen from nhl versus it does look really slow i have not played it so i can't say you know i've personally experienced this but from other youtubers that i've watched and streams and everything that i've watched I have not seen, you know, a fast-paced game, and that's kind of that's kind of worrying me because for a guy that likes to play fast and a guy that likes to take it out with his D guys, you know, a guy that wants to play fast, I have not found, you know, that slow cycle game gameplay fun. Now you could still cycle the puck in NHL 17, and you could still play fast with it, but there is no way you're gonna. You know try to play fast with the super slow gameplay of nhl 18. now not only is the nhl 18 gameplay seem extremely slow but with the new features that they added to the ai the deeks the you know the creative attack the the defensive skill stick i want to start out with a defensive skill stick and if you guys don't know what that is basically you can press left uh bumper and kind of use this like look how dumb this is like like, no one's actually going to skate around the zone like this, you know, trying to protect passing lanes or whatever. Like, you're just going to be in the same spot. You're not going to sit here and hold right bumper the entire game, you know, just blocking this guy's pass. Like, you're not going to skate to this guy and do this, are you? No. Like, you're like that. that's just, that needs to be in the game to begin with, but not overpowered. You know, does that make sense? But no one's going to want to skate around the zone the entire game. Okay, that was sick. But... Trying to do the defensive skill stick, you're not going to want to press right bumper for three quarters of the game while you're in your defensive zone. That is just the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Now, I guess let's, I guess that's a perfect example of uh, the new creative deeks. And so far, I completely agree what people are saying with those. That uh, it seems like a Mortal Kombat thing to where there's no skill gap, right? The only skill, oh, get rocked. The only skill is to it is like, how good can you press these buttons in the combination kind of thing? Like, it's not like that, you know, it takes skill to do them. It just takes, you know, practice. And it's not, you know, practice to get better. That's just, okay, I got to press these three buttons in this order or do these three things in this order. There's no skill gap between, you know, a brand new player that gets the game for Christmas or a guy that's been playing since, you know, they pre-ordered it. There's no, there's going to be no skill gap. And then with a defensive skill stick on top of that, it's like, it's impossible. And that's probably the only one time I've seen, you know, a creative attack or a creative shot work. And, you know, I've seen people try to use it, try to be fancy with their passes and it just screws them over every single time. Because the last game I played, actually the game before this one, I had tried to, uh, use the or actually no the other guy tried to use the uh the through the legs pass and instead of passing it normally which would have led to a goal and put us up by three goals and probably put away the game at that point he tried to do a through the legs pass and it ended up costing him so getting back to the defensive skill stick and getting back to the creative deeks 
although they are a great thing, you know, they look cool in theory, they don't really fit the game well, if that makes sense. Like, the way NHL 17 was played was pretty much just high paced, you know, try to outskate the other guy, get it on a breakaway, or get it down and do like one or two like specific moves, and then, you know, the play would be over kind of thing. Well, that's what people would go for. And as much as I hated that because people go like go to their go-to moves, like a like in what was it, NHL 14 or whatever it was, when there was just all it was was the cross crease one timer that would work, or that just a cross crease would work. You know that's what people would do. They would go to that specific spot and try to snipe it, and go to like that glitch trap spot and try to you know glitch trap it, or go to the one timer on a wide open play and do that. And that's all they would do. They wouldn't try to mix up what they're doing. They wouldn't try to, you know, try to get different plays going. You know, they, they wouldn't try anything new. They would just go back to what they know, and that's all they would do. And it was just so annoying to where it got to the point where it was just all people did. And that's all the gameplay was. And you knew they were going to do it. you try to stop it. But then, you know, the poke checks would be stupid, and, you know, it wouldn't really work. So when you see these new creative attacks and the, the computer AI upgrade and whatever, it's like, okay, those look great. But so far in the beta, the defensive skill stick is basically useless. Like there's only like one time a game to where people actually use it. The creative attacks are like, okay, that's cool. But I mean, they're kind of overpowered. Like, if you do the Datsuk Deke on a breakaway, you're going to score pretty much every single time. Like, and that shouldn't be that way. But, you know, that's a cool thing. I'm glad they added something new to the game for once and not just copy-paste the game with a couple of better graphics and then that's it. But, I don't know. It's still early. Obviously, we're still in the beta. But so far, I am not very impressed with, you know, the new features that they added. And I feel like the creative tax and the defensive skill stick are going to be abused way too much to make the gameplay fun. But that's one of their like key selling points this year is to add those new things. And they can't really take it out of the game at this point, especially with like all the marketing around it and you know all that. They can't take it out, which is the worst part. And once they you know come up with that marketing thing of you know oh we got some new features you know here's what they are and how they're going to affect the gameplay. You can't just take it out of the game at that point. And I wish they wouldn't really do that, like give away all of their secrets before, but that's what kind of get, is supposed to get you like hyped for the next game. It's like, okay, we have some new things in the game to where, you know, it's going to be better. But in this situation, the skill stick's kind of useless. The attacks seem overpowered and the computer AI isn't noticeable, like at all. And not only is it not noticeable, but they try the passes, but they still suck at passing. So what's the point of adding the creativeness to it if they still suck at passing? So, I mean, you guys see, you know, com like user passes and they're atrocious. But then you add this new computer AI creative passing crap and it's like, OK, it doesn't work to begin with. So, like, what's the point of that? I don't really see people trying them too often. Maybe a game I'll see, you know, one guy try to make a pass. Or in this game, I think there was uh, someone scored off the through the leg shot or, you know, something like that. But how creative was that pass, though? Like, that AI just passed it to his defenseman when I was streaking. Like, I didn't call for it because, you know, usually that just gets me in trouble kind of thing. But, like, there's an... Like, look at that. How did that help him at all? Like, and obviously, not every time it's going to work. But... Like, there's another instance. Why did he do a move there? Now, like, now he's going to score, and there's going to be no goal because he ran to the goal. So if people wanted to try these new deeks, it's like, okay, cool, you added something new. But so far, they haven't really been useful. I know I've been bashing the game, or the beta, the last, you know, however long it's been. But one thing I will applaud EA for is during that review, I probably won't leave it in the game because I wasn't talking during it, but during that replay, the, the video replay of that goal when it ended up being no goal and then they get one right after it anyway. But after they reviewed that goal, or during it, I should say, that there was a hold A to skip button. And if everyone in the lobby knows that that's a thing and holds A to skip that, that process goes so much faster. 
or make that cutscene or that little scene shorter to where you have the refs in the box, like show them looking at the monitor and then make it like a 10 second thing rather than a 30 second thing. Like, so you still have that, you know, feeling of, uh, oh, we gotta go to Toronto to review that call, but not so long that people are like, oh my gosh, I wanna quit the game just to get off this screen. Like you gotta make it so it's a lot better in that case. So have a little cutscene of where, you know, the refs are talking to the guys in Toronto while he's in the box and make it a 10 second, a five second thing. But I don't know, that cutscene or that the addition of the add or to hold A to skip that replay, I will agree, that is a great feature. As soon as we're gonna talk about something good, we're gonna talk about something bad. So usually in this case, you'd wanna resume the game, right? And most people would either press A on resume game or a lot of times people press B. Why can't I press B on this screen? because always in NHL 17, you are able to push the B button in order to get off this screen and it, to continue. But this is just one of those little things that are like kind of annoying that should just be changed instantly. But you have to press resume game. You can't press B in that situation, which you should be able to do. So that's another thing that, a little tiny thing that could be fixed, but you know, kind of annoying. So, so far guys, this video has probably gone on long enough to where, you know, you guys know my, kind of first opinions of it i'm gonna be playing some more eshl i'm gonna try to play some online versus just to see it firsthand you know i have seen it from other youtubers obviously but i want to see it for myself and you know create my own opinion because that's kind of what i go by on my channel i don't just go off everyone else's you know opinions and you know make that my own i want to make my own opinion you know obviously i've seen it before so i kind of have an idea of what's happening but you know what i want to look at it myself you know i want to see it and then, you know, check out some NHL 3's mode. And I think, isn't there a fourth mode in in, uh, in the beta? I'm not exactly sure. But either way, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm probably going to play the rest of the game. If anything funny happens, I'll put it in the video, but probably over some music or something. So that's going to wrap it up for me here today, guys. If you guys enjoy, hit that like button. Comment below what you guys think of the NHL 18 beta so far and what you guys are looking forward to in the full game itself down in the comment section below and subscribe for more. Anyway guys, so I'll see you later. Jumping off the porch like mom's not home. Just a couple kids living